Hi everyone, Ben here from musictheoryacademy.com. In this lesson, we're going to have a look at simple and compound meter, uh, which you'll also hear described of as simple and compound time. We're going to ask the question, what is simple and compound meter or simple and compound time? What about duple, triple and quadruple? Uh, which is often used, those words are often used alongside simple and compound. Uh, and I'll give you plenty of examples. Uh, so let's jump straight into this. What is simple meter? Well, simple meter is an expression that you'll hear that describes uh, a timing where the beats can be divided into twos. So let's have a look at an example. Um, here we've got a, a, a time signature of, of two four. Um, we've got two crotchet beats or two quarter note beats there. And each of those quarter notes can be divided into two. They can be divided into two eighth notes or two quavers. So we describe this as being simple because each beat can be divided into two. Let's have another look at another example. This one's now in three four, but again we've got these crotchet notes, these quarter note beats, and they can be divided into two. So we describe this as being simple, simple meter or simple time. Now the thing to just uh, keep note of is the division of beats, not the number of beats in a bar. Okay, so that first example is not called simple because it's 2-4, it's simple because it's got crotchet notes or quarter notes that can be divided into two. So that's simple meter or simple time. What about compound meter? Well in compound meter the beats can be divided into threes. So here's an example of, of compound meter or compound time. We've got 6-8, um, and it's compound because each of those beats, I mean, when, you, when you're conducting in 6-8, when you're counting in 6-8, you're actually counting 1, 2, 1, 2. You're counting uh, dotted crotchet uh, beats. Um, and so each of those are divided into three. So it's described as compound meter or compound time. So that's um, simple time and compound time. What about the duple, triple, and quadruple that you'll often hear? Well, this describes the number of beats in a bar. So, if it's duple, it's two. If it's triple, it's three. And if it's quadruple, it's four. So let's have a look at an example. Here's an example of something that is in duple. That is because it's got two beats in every measure or in every bar. Okay, it's in two, two. Here's another example. This is again duple. There are two crotchet beats or two quarter note beats in every bar in this example. Here's another example. In 2-8, you've got two quavers or two eighth notes, and that is described as duple. So the duple is saying there are two beats in a bar. Now, each of these can also be described as simple because each of the examples, the beats, can be divided into two in each of those three examples. So this, these examples here would be simple, duple, meter. Simple because each beat can be divided into two. Duple because there are two beats in every bar. So let's have another look at uh, uh, a different example. This is the time with triple. So triple, there are three beats in a bar. Okay, three beats in every measure, that first example there. Here's another example, three crotchet beats or three quarter note beats in every bar. Again, it's triple because there are three beats, three quavers, three eighth notes in this example, three beats per measure. So it is triple time. But again, it's simple time as well. Each of those beats in those examples can be divided into two. So this examples are simple triple meter or simple triple time. So you're taking either simple or quadruple and you're adding it to duple triple, sorry, simple or um, compound and you're adding it to duple triple or quadruple. The last example here, okay, so quadruple, four beats in a bar. There you are, there's four minims or four half notes in a bar. There's four crotchets or four quarter notes in a bar. And there's four quavers or four eighth notes. So each of these are quadruple. They're also simple because we can divide each of the beats into two. So we would uh, describe these examples as simple quadruple meter or simple quadruple time. Let's have a look at a, a few compound examples, okay? So duple, two, uh, you can divide uh, uh, two beats in a bar. So here we are in 6-8, but in 6-8, the compound, because each of the beats can be divided into three. So these dotted crotchet beats, we're counting one, two, three, two, two, three. 
Okay, that's how we're counting. So it's a duple compound. Okay, here's again six beats in the bar. This time they're crotchet notes or quarter notes. And again, it's compound because each beat can be divided into three. So these examples are compound duple meter or compound duple time. Any time signature with six as the top number is going to be compound duple meter. Okay, what about triple? Here's an example of triple compound. There's nine, eight. Okay, it's not that common a time signature, but you might well come across it. So there are nine, uh, eight, uh, nine um, quavers in every bar. Okay, and it's they're, they're, um, there's, it's triple because they're, they're grouped into beats of three. It's three beats a bar, and it's compound because each beat can be divided into three. So this will be described as compound triple meter. Okay, any time signature with nine as the top number is going to be compound triple meter. There are uh, three examples for you there. And finally, quadruple. Here's an example of quadruple. Twelve, eight, twelve quavers in every bar. It's quadruple because the quavers are grouped into four beats. There are four beats in that bar that we count if we were conducting. It's compound because each beat can be divided into three. So it's compound quadruple meter or compound quadruple time. Any time signature with 12 as the top number is going to be compound quadruple meter. Okay, so that's a, a, a quick whistle-stop tour of what simple and compound meter is. Simple meter, the beats can be divided into two. Compound meter, the beats can be divided into three. I've given you some examples, and then remember, duple, triple, quadruple simply describes how many beats there are in the bar. If you head over to musictheoryacademy.com, I've got a summary sheet of all that that you can print off and uh, for free and refer to, and hopefully that will help you with your understanding of this. <laughs>